is it just me or do the cruise lines like to make announcements on Friday? Like, do they expect we're going to be in a good mood or something? <laughs> hey, cruisers, I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV, and I'm in a good mood right now. Not only is it Friday, but I'm kind of liking this announcement, and that is that Princess Cruises has removed the vaccine requirement for most voyages, most, not all, and eliminates pre-cruise testing for vaccinated guests. And so now we're all looking to get back to normal, right? I'm sure we all have different feelings about these protocol changes, but the truth is at some point the world has to get back to normal, and Princess today has made a big step in that direction. So let's talk about the press release and let's talk about the butts because there's always butts with these things, right? So the announcement came from Princess Cruises today, August 12th, that on voyages of less than 16 days, the vaccine requirement has been removed so that anyone can cruise. And of course, they're also adjusting the pre-cruise travel testing requirements. This is where it gets good. Starting September 6, vaccinated guests sailing on voyages of less than 16 days will no longer have to test before boarding and only need to upload proof of vaccinated, well, proof of vaccination, excuse me, while getting ocean ready. Now, unvaccinated guests or those who don't provide proof of vaccination on those itineraries will self-test, I'm assuming they mean this type of self-test, right? Within three days of sailing and upload proof of a negative test before boarding. So vaccinated guests, no more pre-cruise test unless your destination requirement requires it. Unvaxed guests, you can self-test. So before you had to do a PCR test at a lab or an antigen test at a lab, this means you can self-test at home, which is gonna be so much easier. Now keep in mind guys, that these new guidelines apply to all ports and itineraries except the ones where government regulations prevent that from happening. And there's kind of a lot. Think about it. Princess has a lot of ships in Alaska and Canada currently still requires vaccination for pretty much everyone. So with that said, I'm assuming that cruises to Alaska are still going to require vaccination this season and that testing may not change there as well. Same with Greece and Australia. So if you're cruising anywhere else, with one more exception, which we're talking about in a minute, you're probably going to see these positive changes for your princess cruise. All right, so here's another exception. No pre-cruise testing for vaccinated guests on voyages of up to 15 nights for guests five and older, with the exception of the Panama Canal transits, Transocean, and other special itineraries. Unvaccinated guests must provide a negative self-test result taken within three days of embar embarkation. Unvaccinated children under the age of five don't require pre-cruise testing. So guests on voyages of over 16 nights or sailing on full Panama Canal transits, Transoceans, and other specific itineraries have to take a supervised test within three days of embarkation. I know this stuff, you guys, is a little bit complicated. And so we're gonna link to the press release in the description of this video, but also Princess has said in this press release that if you're on one of those specific and special itineraries, that you will be contacted directly by an ocean navigator to assist you. I'm thinking that's a human being. I think it's a human being. If anybody knows what an ocean navigator is, let me know down in the comments. So big news. I think that the world is really moving back towards normal. At the time of recording, we still have not heard from Carnival Cruise Line. We've heard from a couple of Carnival brands, Princess being one of them, Cunard being another, P&O being another, but we still haven't heard from the big one. Maybe we'll hear this afternoon. You just never know. Maybe by the time we publish this, we'll have some word from Carnival. But let us know what you think about this. Let us know if you're booked on a uh, Princess cruise this year. We sure love cruising with Princess. They're the line that we've cruised with the most, and we look forward to getting back on the high seas with them. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick news update today. Happy Friday, everyone. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye-bye.